If you're a goods-based business, inventory truly is your bread and butter. The amount of profit that you make will often be linked with how well you manage your inventory. So what exactly is inventory management? Simply put, inventory management is a systematic approach to sourcing, storing, and selling inventory. Depending on whether your business is wholesale, retail, or manufacturing, you'll be dealing with different types of inventory, yet how you manage these items should be the same across the board. But it's not like inventory management can make or break your business, right? Wrong. That's exactly what Kmart thought back in the mid to late 90s when they were in the midst of their price war with Walmart. Walmart at the time implemented a new inventory management system known as Just-In-Time Inventory. This new system allowed them to restock their shelves more efficiently. This meant freeing up cash that would have otherwise been tied down by excess inventory. They reinvested this money into their business, furthering its growth. Additionally, this new system gave them insights into what was selling and what wasn't, allowing them to curate the right products at lower cost and passing the savings on to the customers. Kmart, on the other hand, did nothing to adopt a more modern approach to inventory management, and as a result, they saw their stocks plummet 63%, while Walmart stocks shot up 82%. Only a few years later, in 2002, Kmart filed for bankruptcy, closing hundreds of stores and merged with Sears Roebuck in 2005. A good inventory management system should leverage things like barcodes, SKUs, and software in order to create clear visibility of stock levels. Many businesses use a periodic approach to managing their inventory, which relies on counting at the end of each accounting period. This method lessens stock visibility and can make reorder point forecasting difficult. For many businesses, this approach just isn't a viable option, so they've opted for a perpetual model, which provides real-time adjustments to inventory. Think of it like this. A periodic model is more like a snapshot, while a perpetual model is more of a live video feed. Obviously, the live feed is going to give you a much clearer view of your inventory, which will allow you to reduce costs, optimize fulfillment, provide better customer service, and prevent loss from theft, spoilage, and returns. So you'll be able to improve customer confidence and retention by avoiding things like stockouts. In a broader context, inventory management provides insights into your financial standing, customer behaviors, product and business opportunities, future trends, and a lot more. It's not only expensive, but also a potential liability holding onto inventory for longer than needed, and a good system will allow your business to make the most of your storage spaces. The takeaway here is that although inventory management may seem like a daunting task of little importance, it can actually make or break your business, and implementing the right systems shouldn't be ignored. Using cloud-based software like Inflow, which was designed specifically for managing inventory, could be the key to your success. It manages inventory perpetually, giving you real-time visibility of your stock, and the software is easy to learn and use, and it will ultimately save you time and money. And isn't that what running a business is all about? If you want to learn more about the difference between periodic and perpetual stock keeping, click the link in the description.